Today I will show you how to make the Neon Edges effect. Yo, hello, it's Bobby Custom Editing Visuals here and let's begin. So the first thing you'll want to do is press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer and the first effect you'll want to add is CC block load. Here you'll want to make the completion to 10. Now add invert, uh, make the channel hue, add glow, just add the normal glow, we don't need any other glow. Make the glow threshold 62%, glow radius 140, glow intensity 4.8. And now we need to add find the edges. Here click on invert and now add exposure now here you'll want to make the exposure one now you want to hold alt and press on the stopwatch and here you'll want to type wiggle parentheses three and then comma two and just press somewhere like here and now it will make a little bit of a flicker now you'll want to add luma key uh, make the threshold 34 and the last effect we'll add is transform. Make the scale 102. And here we have this neon edges effect. I think it looks super dope. And what we can do now is we can save the effect by pressing on one of the effects and pressing control A. And I'll go to animation, save animation preset. And here call it whatever you want. I recommend calling it neon edges effect and press save. And then whenever you want to add it, you could for example, like close out of here, uh, press control Y, go to effects and presets and type neon edges effect and add it on top of here. If you want to make this effect look even cooler, you can add effects from our editing visuals website. On the website, we have editing packs such as my best pack, VHS pack. Uh, in the pack, we have over 120 overlays and over 10 presets. And we also have tutorials there as well that help you understand how to use the overlays in the coolest ways possible. And you could add, for example, VHS effect one added here. Already is a different look, but we can add one more. So I'm press Ctrl Y again. And here, add VHS effect two. This is a really cool glowy effect uh you can like mess around a little bit here you can like delete this one and just mess around with the second one i really think this effect has a lot of potential and you should really check out the pack because the pack needs absolutely no plugins it has tutorials and a bunch of overlays let's get back to the tutorial all right there's one more thing i would suggest for this effect and it's to have more colors on your clips so for example here it has a lot of colors like as you can see so that's why it's very colorful but for example in this clip not so many because you know you see it's not much here it has a a little bit more the more colors you have on your video the better this effect will look so just really keep that in mind and that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions then please let me know you can also join our discord server and there we will be able to respond to you way faster and you can ask other editors for advice as well and that's about it all right have a fun and productive day see ya